Impact Silver Corporation is a profitable silver producer with a 623 square kilometer land package located three and a half hours southwest of Mexico City. We discovered a old mine in Mexico, that's Quelpan, uh, which is probably the second oldest mining operation in all of Mexico, just north of Tasco. Zequalpan was actually even occupied by Cortes, the conquistador, almost 480 years ago. The company has been progressively expanding its production and uh, in 2009, 2010 was averaging about 800,000 uh, ounces of silver. Uh, we're looking at over a million ounces this year. Our first quarter was almost a quarter of a million ounces. Um, but that is strictly from the Zequalpan mine. The Zequalpan mine is, uh, or mining complex if you will, is composed of the Guadalupe mill, 500 ton a day mill, and three mines, smaller underground mines delivering feed to it. The Zequalpan mining district encompasses over 400 square kilometers of potential property. This is a silver exploration project we have several crews mapping and sampling and two diamond drills drilling. Miners have been getting silver out of this district since 1527. From 1975 to 2009, more than 34 million silver equivalent ounces were produced. What we are doing is taking all of the historic exploration information and mining information and putting it into a, a computer program. Uh, we have five people working on that, and this covers over 500 years of exploration. The process begins with the ore being hauled out of three mines in the Zoqualpan area. The first and most well-established is the Chivo mine. Discovered in 2005, this flagship mine started producing ore just 24 months later, in 2007. Just 1.3 kilometers south of Chivo is San Ramon site of a high-grade epithermal vein that impact resumed mining in 2008. Currently additional high-grade mineral from a new wide zone of silver-rich stock work Breccia-style mineralization is being mined. Sequalpan's newest mine lies five kilometers west of San Ramon. Rapidly developed into production in just 15 months, Noche Buena started production in March of 2010. Minera Impact Silver adquiere en enero del 2006 a Minera El Porvenir de Zacualpan. En ese tiempo laboraban 70 trabajadores en esta unificación Guadalupe con una producción de área de 140 toneladas y en ese tiempo se tenía únicamente un potencial de 40 mil toneladas de reserva. como empleos directos, teniendo varios contratistas, tanto de acarreo, construcción, obra civil, etc. En el 2006, la colonia contaba con 16 casas, de las cuales únicamente el 100% de nuestros trabajadores es mexicano, tanto nuestro trabajador de obra directa como nuestros, nuestro equipo técnico. Los beneficios que todo esto ha acarreado a Zacualpan son enormes. El único empleo que se encuentra en Zacualpan es el de Minero. Afortunadamente, Minero El Porvenir no ha batallado y sigue creciendo y generando más empleos para la comunidad. The care impact takes with its workforce is equaled by the attention it pays to the environment. Its practices are guided by responsibility and stewardship. The methods impact has perfected at Zoqualpan are being further refined as it looks to its newest target, the Mamatla district in the southwest. Mamatla is about a 200 square kilometer district. We acquired it two years, three years ago. Over the last 10 to 15 years, about $15 million was spent in this district. A series of VMS or volcanogenic massive sulfide deposits were discovered. Impact Silver's exploration team's record of discovering three mines at a rate of one per year will become even more impressive as its fourth discovery is set to go into production later this year. And Kapiri we intend to put into production in 2011-2012 on a pilot scale basis. 
That means we're going to install, we've already purchased it, a 200 ton a day pilot plant. We'll be doing a starter pit on site and that's going to allow us to develop and get very hard numbers in terms of recoveries, mining costs, milling costs. It will incidentally also make us a profit. We expect to run a quarter of a million to 300,000 ounces a year out of the Kapiri plant. We'll be drilling about 10 to 15,000 meters on those targets and we're hoping by the year 2013 to be in a position where we can commit to a much larger facility that will serve as Kapiri open pit. Impact's approach is simple. If ore can't be mined at a profit, it isn't. We're not trying to produce ore for the sake of getting higher numbers, but rather higher profits. And we have, until very recently, uh, built ourselves strictly on operating profits. That's allowed us to keep a very tight, uh, outstanding share capital. It's allowed us to develop the mine in a controlled basis. And year over the year, for the last five years, we've made money, even at low silver prices. We have the capacity to produce at lower prices uh, by going into higher grade sections of the mines. And we have the capacity to produce at obviously higher prices, even more profitably by cut, reducing our cutoff grades marginally and expanding the potential life of the mine.